What is up everybody, I am Legend and these are the top five apps that I think every music maker needs to have on their phones. Coming right up, let's go. So when it comes to making music in this day and age, we have a lot of tools at our disposal, at our fingertips, whether it be our MacBooks, our computers, tiny devices in our pockets. So today I'm gonna be talking about the top five best apps that I think every single musician needs on their phone. And first we're gonna start off with writing now there are a lot of apps out there there's even basic note-taking apps that you can use on your phone to write your songs but if you want to take your game a little bit further and have a lot more functionality when it comes to writing songs one app that i truly recommend is called tully and i was actually introduced to this app tully not too long ago by an artist that i record here in my studio and i'll make a full video about it so basically with the tully app you can start a brand new project and in this project you can have lyrics recordings the track itself it's really dope really simplified process to basically get all of your ideas into one place for instance i have this song that i'm working on called angels and devils so if i just press play at the top of this project file it'll take me to the page where it shows me all the lyrics that i've written the song starts playing automatically and i can even access the recordings that remind me melodies that i wanted to have for the verses and the chorus and things like that at the top I can even keep writing if I want to while the song is playing and it's just a really dope tool to be able to use for songwriters and it also has some really dope features as far as finding BPMs for your songs the key for your songs it has really nice collaborative uh, features as well you can invite engineers to uh, import tracks for you from Dropbox and Google Drive and all these different types of things so it's a really dope app to use for songwriters out there people who are making beats people who are making full songs people who do both really great app for songwriting next up when we're talking about songwriting and getting ideas for songs I know a lot of people out there who struggle with this particularly because they are not very skilled in music creation they don't know much about music theory so they need some kind of inspiration if they don't want to keep using loops for the rest of their life one major app that i found that can inspire not only melodies but like full-on like production ideas is an app that i found called chords generator or chords gen you open it up and you basically have this very basic interface right here and there's a whole bunch of chords generator apps out there but this one is free number one but number two what i like about this app is it not only gives you ideas for chord progressions and it shows you the notes that are within each chord so you can kind of learn a little bit about the music theory behind it but it'll also give you rhythms to those particular chords so for instance i'll just pick a uh, major you click the shuffle button and it'll give you a random chord progression at the bpm that you have set here so i'll just just for the sake of this video i'll set it at 120 go back to the generator and then i'll randomize a chord progression it'll not only give me a new chord progression but it'll give me a rhythm as well I can just sit here all day and just come up with all kinds of ideas to different chord progressions and this thing comes up with it for you all you have to do is come up with your melodies come up with the beat learn how to play this in your music production program or even if you know how to play you know how to make music and things like that but you're just having writer's block do a random chord progression in any scale and then basically from there if you find something that you like you just click this heart and it'll save that exact chord progression for you and if i want to change the rhythm because you can get different rhythms with the same chord progression just click this little drum button on the left hand side It gives you a different rhythm, with the same progression. So it's very simple, very easy to use. I can even save that too if I want to. So we've already talked about the chorus generator coming up with the ideas. And then we talked about totally the songwriting process and tracking down those ideas if you have some vocals to them. But when it comes to the music production part, the actual creation of the song, the recording of the song, the making of the beat, there are many options out there, but you guys know my favorite personal one for mobile production is going to be Garage Band. That is what I'm known for.
Now, if you're not using an iPhone, there are going to be Android alternatives. One that I've heard a lot of people talk about is called BandLab. I think this is the most comparable one to GarageBand. But some people were saying that BandLab has some missing features compared to GarageBand, like there aren't as many things that you can do in depth. But I mean, whatever works for you is what's going to work for you. There's also uh, FL Studio Mobile, iMachine, I believe is what it's called. I think you should be able to make the song or start the idea on your phone and then be able to transfer it to your desktop computer. So that's why I like to use programs that have desktop bigger brothers, basically the garage bands, the machines, the FLs, things like that. Now we're getting a little bit to the business and technical side of things. It's even gotten to the point where you can distribute music from your phone. Yes, it's possible. You can do it all within an app called Amuse. So basically you can open this application Amuse create your profile and all that stuff. And this distributes your music like any other music distribution company does. But what's dope about Amuse is it has a dedicated phone application for Android and iOS. So if you have all of your music stored on Dropbox or Google Drive, I believe, or somewhere on your phone, like your iCloud Drive, you can start a new release here. Pick your artwork if you save the artwork in your phone, if you made it on ViscoCam, whatever, call it poop head quack or something like that the the language is african <laughs> the genre i mean you can really go in here and and really like release your music with your phone it's crazy and you can add more tracks look at that you can just keep adding tracks and make it a whole album you can do your entire album here if you want to you can do singles eps it'll automatically figure that stuff out for you as you guys can see and then the distribution you can select the music stores so we got spotify itunes google music youtube content id which is amazing i need that for myself because people like to steal my music and they like to copyright claim my stuff even though they don't own it uh, <laughs> You got YouTube, Deezer, Tidal, Shazam, dope. Amazon, Napster, and you got all the countries that you can release to. It's pretty much got every single feature you can ask for in a distribution application for your phone. You can either use iCloud or Dropbox to select your audio file, and then you do the rest of the stuff here. You can add the writers, the contributors. This is a really dope application, dude. For artists who do everything on the go, for artists who are always on the move, who may not be at a computer when they want, if, the, if you're in a super tight bind, you have a deadline to release an album. If your computer just busted, is broken whatever may be the case you can just open up this app distribute your music straight from your phone who where what what and so continuing on with the technical side of things the last app that i want to talk about that every musician should have on their phone is actually a combination of two apps i'm going to kind of cheat here but um, it's going to be Shopify and Superphone made by Ryan Leslie. The reason why I think every musician, every artist needs to have Shopify and needs to have Superphone is because Shopify is a web hosting service. Like you can build your own websites, you can sell your own merchandise, your own music, whatever it is that you're selling, beats, music, concert tickets, however you wanna set the thing up, you can sell your services there, anything you can put on a Shopify store. And there are a lot of features. I actually made a video about how to sell your own music using Shopify and not have to go through like iTunes or uh, BeatStars if you're a producer or anything like that. Like you have your own marketplace basically. You also have all of your own consumer data so you can you can be able to market to your, your customers and have their email addresses on file if you wanna reach out to them. Um, integrating into Shopify is this app called Superphone. Good morning, Mr. Leslie. As of today, 11,619 renegades worldwide. What message would you like to send the six who are celebrating birthdays today? Which is a uh, texting based marketing um, application. So basically a lot of artists that signed up with Superphone under Ryan Leslie uh, use it specifically to communicate to their fans. All of your fans input their uh, contact information into your Superphone contact list and then they can send out a uh, text message blast that be they're, they're sent out as text messages. So that's one really good plus about it. Like it's not an email where you have to open up your email and check it. And sometimes you don't get the notifications, but it's like a text message directly to that person's phone. So it's like, you're kind of having a one-on-one -on -one connection without them having your actual phone number, but it's really good for mass marketing as well. You can do one-on-one -on -one engagements if you want to, you can use it as a way to blast. Like I just released a new album, 
uh, text back to this number if you want to receive the link to it you can see who in your contacts has spent the most money in your store so like you can be able to tell who really your number one fan is really great also for businesses or for musicians and, and things you'll be able to basically like save somebody's contact information and list them as a videographer or list them as a producer or list them as a graphic designer and when you go into the superphone application um, you can just type in photographer or like filter by their occupation and let's say if you have a music video shoot coming up and you need videographers you just have this whole list of people that you've already marketed with and you don't have to go through your contacts and scroll blah 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 but you know i think every uh musician every artist whether you're a producer a singer both shopify there are so many different avenues that you can go with that um, and so many different features and applications that you can use with that and, and creating your own music marketplace. Um, these are the, the top five most important apps that I think everybody should have on their phones. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail here. <laughs> Um, if this video helped any of you guys out, if you found any good information, I ask that you please scroll down and hit that like button, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, turn on the bell notifications. You'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. As always, stay legendary, and I will see you in the next one. I hate that phrase. Why did I just say that?